Hey everyone, in this video, I want to teach you how to use truth tables to determine whether a statement, a compound statement, is a tautology. But the best place to start is by defining what a tautology is and uh, giving some like real life examples of them, because I feel like at first the definition of a tautology might strike us as strange. So a tautology is just a really fancy kind of pretentious word that just means that a statement is always true. Right. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll hear this as uh, being necessarily true. Right. OK, so what exactly does that mean? Well, a statement that's tautological. Right. Uh, so a statement that is a tautology is a statement that simply could never be false, no matter what. In the language of truth tables and rows, it means that the statement for every single row will always give you the value true. How could that be? Well, actually, there are quite a few examples of tautologies in natural language. For instance, the entirety of mathematics concerns itself largely with tautologies, right? Uh, so 2 plus 2 equals 4, that's going to be a tautology, although statement logic won't quite be able to represent that, right? But we have, more, uh, we have stronger systems of arithmetic that can show that that's the case, right? Uh, here's another one. It is what it is. That's a tautology, right? Uh, yes, there's nothing else it could be, right? If it is, then it is. It is what it is, right? So on and so forth. Uh, here's another tautology. I am me, right? Uh, you are you. Superman is Superman. Clark Kent is Clark Kent, right? Those are all tautologies, right? Uh, here's another uh, really popular tautology within logic. Uh, either it is or it isn't, right? I actually have that one written up, right? Either A or not A. Those are the only two options, right? A thing is either true or it is false. Uh, over here, I have another tautology represented, right? Uh, so if it is, then it is, right? So if B, then B, or if A, then A, or what have you. You might have noticed that tautologies have a tendency of not being very interesting, right? Uh, most tautological statements are just kind of, they're going to be trivial, right? They're going to be things that uh, you're not really going to have a whole lot of conversation over. Okay, so that's what a tautology is, right? That's the definition of a tautology. They're, they're necessarily true uh, compound statements, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and use our truth tables to test for a tautology. And again, all you're looking for is that the statement has the value true in all rows, right? So if you have a statement that has true for every row, that's a tautology. If you have a statement that doesn't have true for every row, then that's not a tautology. And I, we'll start off with the really basic ones that I have up here, although none of these get particularly complicated, right? So here in our really small truth table, right, we have A or not A. We're dealing with just one atomic statement, right? So we'll have just two rows because that's every single possible truth value that A could have, right? So it's either true or it's false. Now let's go ahead and calculate this. I'm going to start off by calculating not A. I know it's really simple and I could just skip this step, but it's best to just be thorough, right? Okay, so not A is just the opposite of A. So that would be false, true, right? So when A is true, not A is false. When A is false, not A is true. And now we can just go ahead and calculate right, this disjunction. So uh, remember, a disjunct, uh, sorry, a disjunction is true, right, when, uh, or actually, let me phrase it a little bit more simply, a disjunction is false when both disjuncts are false, otherwise it's true, right, so it's true in every other scenario, okay, A or, sorry, true or false, that's going to calculate to true, false or true, that's going to calculate to true, every single row is true, therefore, A or not A is A tautology. Let's just jump right into the next one, right? So remember, a conditional is false when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. Otherwise, the conditional is true, so it's true for every other combination, right? Okay, well, here we just have B implies B. True implies true, that's true. False implies false, that's true. Every single row is true, therefore we have a tautology. And by the way, if the you know if calculating disjunctions and, and conditionals and whatnot is new to you, I have a video where I show every, you know how to calculate every single logical connective. So make sure that you take a look at that uh, in order to better follow along with this. All right, so these are two that are really simple. Let's go for a slightly more complicated statement, though it's not that much more complicated. This is also a tautology, and we're going to show that that's the case with this truth table. And this is where truth tables really shine, right? Some tautologies are really straightforward. You don't really need a truth table to evaluate them, but sometimes they can be more complicated, in which case it's much nicer to just have your truth table do your work for you. Okay, so we're going to start 
by calculating inside of these parentheses, because that's how you always calculate compound statements and truth tables. You start with the innermost connectives and work your way out. So we have P implies Q, right? So true implies true, that's true. True implies false, that's false. False implies true, that's true. False implies false, that's true. And now we just go ahead and do the same thing, only now we're going to calculate Q implies these values, right? So true implies true, that's true. False implies false, that's true. True implies true, that's true. False implies true, that's true. And once again, we can see that we have a tautology. And that's all there really is to it. So you just use a truth table, calculate all of your logical connectives, and then check to see whether they're all true. If they are, it's a tautology. If they aren't, it's not a tautology. That's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content about logic and philosophy, you should stick around. I'll see you next time.